Yes. All right. Talk to us about the festival. Wow. Um, so the festival was really to encapsulate the fact that we are all able to do this thing. There's the, the reason we should look past who we are, um, like where you're from, and realize that we can do anything because we're all human at the end of the day. So Africa is celebrating being African and celebrating how we can commune together to do one thing for the purpose of making people realize that together we are one in this thing. How has the past two days gone? It's been crazy. It's been so great, though. Um, people are really enjoying the poetry. Um, the artists are really pulling through. I mean, we haven't had a week show yet, you know. Mm. Everyone's really impressed. We're impressing a lot of people, yeah. How much time and money and logistics go into some, organizing something of this magnitude? Uh, I can't give you figures, <laughs> though. <laughs> but it, it does take a lot of money. I mean, we have to respect poets. We have to respect them because we're trying to build an industry here, you know. Um, so we are trying to pay them a good amount for performing. I mean, it's a job at the end of the day for a lot of people. Um, logistics, it's a ton of logistics. It's a ton of money. It's a ton of time. It's a lot of everything, you know. Okay, and what is the... Department of Arts and Culture's involvement in the festival? They funded our festival. Mm -hmm. um, they've been really helpful with helping us uh, maintain a good media outreach and stuff. And then, yeah, they, they really did pull through for us in a very short space of time. So big ups to the DAC. Yeah. yeah. All right. And uh, talk to us about the poets that are on the lineup, the Sadek and South African yeah. uh, poets. Well, I think the festival tried to encapsulate... Um, the most people who celebrate their tradition the most, right? So we had Lisika, and he's from Kwa Kwa, and he speaks Sisutu straight, you know? Mm. That was amazing, you know? Um, so we're trying to have that as well. As much as you are from a place, like, represented too. Um, so, to my, well, the last show we have is on Sunday. Um, that's the end of the festival. And on that lineup, we're looking at Kojo Bafo, we're looking at Lebo Mashile, Tereska Maishorn, who you'll see later. Mm. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a good show. What's the significance of the title of the festival? Well, it's putting we in Africa, really. Mm -hmm. um, so Africa is everyone in one thing, poetry. And why is poetry such a powerful tool to get a message like we are one yeah. across? I think the, the role of poetry in doing something like that is it plants seeds in people's minds. So it's up to the, the person to, like, to act on those thoughts. I feel like the person who is standing in front of a tank, you know, what was keeping him there was not the fact that he wanted the tank to stop, but it was the thought that I shouldn't move to prove a point. So those seeds, those are very important seeds that we're trying to plant in people's minds to get them thinking and talking about this. What for you has been the highlight of the festival so far? Well, obviously being in Bloemfontein, yeah. <laughs> my time on the stage, yeah. you know. Um, that was the highlight, but I feel like there's so much to look forward to. Um, we really did save the best for last, mm -hmm. so I can't, I can't really answer that question yeah. yet. <laughs> Maybe on Monday morning. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I saw somebody's tweet <laughs> the other day um, about Bloom, that, yeah. you know, up until th Thursday and seeing word and sound in Bloom, he had really not given poetry or South African a chance, poetry yeah. a chance. Is that the inroads that word and sound is making? And how does that make you feel about somebody who's never <laughs> given poetry a chance? It really does give us goosebumps. Mm. You know, it's, it's amazing to pull someone out of the space where they don't want to listen to it to now finally realizing it. That really means that we're doing our job and we're doing it well. You know, we're making, we're making waves in this thing. You know, um, it's, it's really, really nice. And it shows that all... The things that you've done for free, all those pro bono gigs yeah. have finally paid <laughs> off, you know. They finally paid off. And what other cities do you guys plan on going into? You've done Bloom now and I think yeah. you, you, uh, Bloom really loved you. Yeah. you know? So what other cities, what other plans on the table to go into those cities that we don't traditionally think that poetry might be welcome in? Well, it really does depend on the suppliers. Mm -hmm. um, any theatre that's willing to have us must take us, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we really just, we're really dependent on, on, on funding and people believing in this movement. Um, but other than that, we want to go everywhere. There is no place that we will not yeah. go, you know? There's All no right. place we won't Before go. Before I let you go, give yeah. us details. Tickets, ticket prices, times. The show is absolutely free. Mm -hmm. From one o'clock until five, you get the tickets at the door at the Witz Theatre in Johannesburg All on right. Sunday. Okay, <laughs> now that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us now. Uh, let's take an ad break and then we're back after this. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.